Jamaica's Omar McLeod returns from his nightmare. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. After this, sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yet good to go. Well, it is a pleasure to actually see the remarkable Omar McLeod, the former Olympic and world champion, back in training camp. Track Wired Instagram page shared back on the track, day one of technical practice, while the warrior child himself, Omar McLeod, on his Instagram page wrote, Fall training has been dope so far. The 2022 season was technically a nightmare for this remarkable world and former Olympic champion. He had a horrific, horrific year. In fact, towards the end of 2022, he, well, let, let him tell you in his own words. Omar McLeod wrote, as athletes, being able to compartmentalize is very important and something that we must master in order to be at the highest level. Yesterday, I just couldn't do that. I wasn't strong enough. This time, I wasn't strong enough this time around, and that's okay, McLeod said. Not being able to be at my little cousin's funeral plagued my mind as I was feeling so much guilt that it messed with my sleep on top of dealing with jet lag. And so I just simply did not trust myself enough to go out there and compete under that mental state. He had withdrawn from a race and shared this. Now, the fact is by the time he got to our national trials, he, I'll show you in a few, his performance was just absolutely terrible. Uh, he went on to share with us that he had lost his niece. They were very, very, very close. And what is even worse, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, please correct me. If I am not correct, if I am wrong, uh, she had been lost through tragic circumstances. She was very, very young. They were very, very close. Now, just recently in the last few days, we celebrated Mental Health Week. And sometimes we tend to underestimate the impact of these things. Grief can have a horrific impact on us as human beings. Some common symptoms of chronic grief include prolonged sadness on a daily basis, extreme, fo extreme focus on the loss, neglecting daily responsibilities because of depression, no motivation to interact with people or attend social events, detachment from your friends and family, difficulty accepting the loss after ample time has passed, intense emotions such as anger and pain towards the loss. In fact, um, according to some articles, in some cases, grief may even lead to a state of depression. Thankfully, however, this depression caused by grief decreases uh, over time and after one year, only 15% of this population met the criteria of major depression. Now, we saw the impact of the loss of his niece last year. Throughout his entire season, he was sort of up and down, up and down. Um, uh, at the beginning of the season, he was doing pretty well and then clearly after he lost her. I'm not quite sure when that happened. You could see the difference in his performances, the inconsistencies. Uh, uh, it was just terrible. In the finals of men's 110 meter hurdles at the national trials, he had another disastrous run. Remember in 2021, uh, it was terrible for him and it was just as disastrous in 2022. Now, unfortunately, this was not the first time Omar Cloud had lost someone during a season. In 2019, he lost his aunt, um, to whom he was also very close, but was able to fight through and actually did well in the Diamond League season. No, people, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to, I mean, many of us have had to suffer loss, but to 
suffer loss, especially, I mean, I think what really upset him about his niece is that she was so very young. They were so very, very close. And um, I guess using losing someone that young can be even infinitely more traumatizing than it is to lose someone a little bit more mature. It must have been a nightmare. It must have been a nightmare for him to, to have to still be running and performing at the highest level. And in fact, we here at Peter Lloyd World, we were really, really very happy when he just stepped back and took some time to heal. Like I said, very, very often we tend to underestimate the impact of mental health. Now, many of you know that this remarkable hurdler um, is a former world and Olympic hurdlers, 110 meter hurdlers champion. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. I'm really, really happy to see him back in training. In fact, based on what he said, he seems to have, uh, he's, you know, he, he says it's going dope. It's dope, and dope, I guess, means it's going very, very well. Omar McLeod is a remarkably talented athlete, remarkably talented athlete. Uh, we're very, very fortunate here because of the depth of the talent we have uh, as a result of Omar not being there we were able to see Broadbell rise to the occasion, so to speak. And we have great talent, but it's always great to have even one more remarkable talent. And uh, we're hoping that 2023 for Omar McLeod will be a much better year. There'll be no more grief, etc. And we hope that he actually took the time to do all the mental health counseling that he needed. Look, people, I've said it to you many, many times. Running at this level is Running at any level, any sport at any level is not just about your physical uh, uh, attributes, your raw talent, your gift or your coaching or your hard work. But if you're not in the right mental state of mind, you simply cannot perform up to standard. Winning is almost 50 cent about state of mind. It's about where you're at in your head. If you look back at that race at the national trials for 2022, he got out of the blocks brilliantly and then something just went wrong by maybe the second or third hurdle. He just clearly mentally wasn't there. So we knew that he had a horrific year in 2022. It, it, it must have been a nightmare year, um, especially after what he had gone through in 2021 at the trials and started out so well in 2022 and then this horrific loss had just plagued him. You know, I think what really made this horrific for him was he had no closure because he was unable to attend his niece's funeral because he was working. And that must have led to, I mean, this is pseudoscience, of course, but that must have led to, um, you know, self-loathing, doubt, etc. It must have been really, really hard for this gentleman. Um, and especially to have to be going through this in the presence of the entire world. I mean, he's one of the top herders on the planet, still is. But one of the top five, I believe. So we're hoping that this year, goes much better for him. And we're glad to see that he's back from this nightmare. Um, you know, but this of course is my two cents. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up.